I hope uh, my voice is clear. I think, um, can you message in the chat? Yes, Dr. Yeah, Moore, you can hear you. Oh, thank you very much. I'm sorry for two minutes because it came from my class. Uh, so that's my alhamdulillah is now everything is all right. So we can start now, brother. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, if, if the voice is not clear, uh, please let me know. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, my distinguished guest, uh, dear brothers and sisters, uh, this is an honor to welcome you all to our weekly English lecture. Today, uh, I'm going to uh, share uh, thoughts, ideas, uh, knowledge uh, as part of the weekly events and programs of Nadil Iqtisad Ristami, Ristami Economics Association of Kuwait University. And today, um, you know, our topic is uh, a bit different than the topics related to Islamic finance. So uh, sometimes uh, Nadalik the South this time we uh, would like to provide with the lectures and sessions uh, which are very uh, important to uh, to know about and to uh, recall uh, the Islamic ethics and lessons for us uh, in our daily lives in our uh, uh, deals, in our uh, interaction, in our activities, actions, uh, because it's uh, totally uh, related to our Iman, Taqwa, and also uh, as Muslims, uh, how to become a perfect uh, mu'min and Muslim based on the lessons and also profit practices that so today uh, we have chosen the topic of uh, yeah, and, and as we know the social media is nowadays an uh, important tool for our uh, you know all the aspects of life and we know about social media what is social media and what are advantages and what are the disadvantages it's clear to us but there are some issues and things related to ethics, Islamic ethics, and uh, how to utilize this social media properly in accordance with the Sharia al-Islami. Social media, including Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, email, WhatsApp, uh, and TikTok, and some electronics media. And we have paper media and electronics media portal and other uh, webs. So for the advantages, we share the information, we share the knowledge, we exchange 
um, knowledge, wisdom, concepts, ideas, information with others. The world has become a village uh, with the internet and social media, part of internet. And we are using social media with the internet. There are things of internet uh, being utilized and used for good and for bad. So let's say for good, uh, we are working, we are doing research, we are studying, and even we are conducting this session uh, by internet and using uh, Zoom application. This is uh, an advantage of internet and social media. And when we uh, need to know something, some information, some if we want to do research, the issue problem, if you want to know any um, facts in any place of the world, anywhere, in, and even social media made it easier for us to know, to reach our goal, to reach our intended uh, thing, either information or knowledge or the history, anything. Regarding, we have and many researchers, scholars, students, uh, lecturers are, you know, taking advantages from internet, even from social media. Now, when you see Twitter, when we see uh, Facebook, there are people, scholars, teachers, good human beings, are uh, sharing good things for others. They are attaining ajr, min Allah, virtue from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we share a single thing, other means I'm going to virtue and what I share it. Information changing your wisdom, your knowledge with others. This is a beautiful use and use. And for archives and database. We need help from internet, help from uh, these uh, beautiful uh, webs, links, and channels. And people are doing and serving the ummah and humanity uh, through this social media and portal, web links, and others. So, Beloved brothers and sisters, there are uh, lots of of internet and social media. When we uh, we open uh, our WhatsApp uh, every day, we receive messages, uh, content of da'wa and the uh, al-ma'lumat al-khairiya and many other things, al-hadith al nabawiya Al-Ayat al quran and good information, uh, nasaih, advices, and suggestions from others. So in a kick, you and me can gain virtue from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by sharing good things over social media. So I'm not going to take uh, more than 40 minutes uh, the main thing uh, that I would like to cover in my discussion in this sharing session is what are the disadvantages, uh, wrong use of social media? And what are the 
sins and ma'asiyat uh, and other uh, illegal things, immoral things we are committing using social media, either Facebook or Instagram, Twitter, in, or WhatsApp, uh, anything else in social media. First of all, when people in uh, this community, in this world, a uh, world of uh, competence and a competitive world, we are competing with others. We are trying to uh, be better than others. But sometimes when we uh, compete with others, we forget ethical values, al-akhlaq al islami What are the ethical values? What are the moralities? And what are the good characters? So we can judge a man nowadays easily uh, by seeing his or her post and uh, you know social media, what does he share in social media, or what does she share in social media in Facebook, and how or his interactions, activities, we can judge easily. Either this person is holding or practicing good character values al akhlaq al islami al qiyam al jamil do they have does he has does she has or not so my dear brothers and sisters social media if we talk about disadvantage and negative sides of social media have a lot to firstly Social media has become a tool to destroy someone's reputation. A reputation of a family, reputation of a community. How? When, let me give you an example of affirmations. That is Bhutan, slandering someone, spreading a uh, uh, miss uh, fake information about someone. Often see on social media many information, many news. Either we share we share this information or news without just any justification, without any investigation, or without any inspection. That is totally wrong and unethical. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, this is very clear to all of us. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaitan rajeem. Ya ayyuha al-lazina amanu in ja'akum fasiqum binaba'in fatabayyanu an tusibu qawman bijahalatin wa tusbihu in Surah Hujurat, uh, verse number six, Allah said, Oh, who you believed, if there comes to you a disobedient one with information, any news, any investigate either the information is true or not, lest you harm a out of ignorance, out of jahala, if you do share without any investigation. And you know, what you have done will be, you have to be, you should be regretful later on if you do it without any justification. So most of the people, most of us, when we see something interesting, on social media, Facebook, uh, either it's a negative news or positive news, we just share. If 
you share something uh, bad information about someone, about a community, about any uh, institution, that means you are committing a great sin. You are committing uh, a sin of defamation, bohutan, slandering someone, which is not found in that person, in that institution. So that's why this is very important to know that we not hurt someone, Muslim or human, without any reason. And if we spread any uh, wrong information about, if we hurt someone, for example, uh, sister or brother Abdullah, he uh, spreads uh, false news about Ahmed on media because he wants to take revenge. Uh, he wants him, uh, Abdullah wants Ahmed to be in a critical situation, in a difficult situation. He spreads uh, uh, bad news about him. Allah says that you are committing bhutan. وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْذُونَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ بِغَيْرِ مَكْتَسَبُ فَقَحْتَمَلُوا بُهْتَانٍ وَإِثْمَمْ مُبِينَ So those who are hurting mu'min, mu'minat, with the information, with anything that is not found in them, that is defamation, that is bhutan. That is a great sin. Why should we do that? So what I'm trying to say that whatever we share, whatever we see on social media, let's not share easily without any inspection, without any investigation. That might hurt someone or some institutions. If you do need to even investigate or justify, just ignore either the information is interesting or not. So another important issue that we are observing nowadays on social media, if we are sharing something uh, we are not confirmed about, we are not sure about. That is also very wrong. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, said in the Quran, Surah Al Isra, uh, number uh, 63, sorry, 36, yes, 36. Allah says, Wala taqfu in the summer, well, Basha, well, for Ed, Kulun Ula Ike can Humasula. Do not pursue that of which you have no knowledge, you have no information, you are not sure. Indeed, the hearing, the sight, whatever we see, we listen, our heart about all those who will be questioned in the day of. So why we are uh, without any uh, sure, uh, we don't have any knowledge of that and we should not share anything on social media. We, you and myself can see on social media many brothers, unfortunately, they are committing these sins, this ma'asiyat. They are doing, uh, they are sharing things, uh, though they have no knowledge about that. So we have to be very careful about this. My dear brothers and sisters, in the history of uh, 
Umma al Muhammadiyya sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The first, you know, who are the people spreaded the false news or uh, to make the community scary, uh, uh, you know, uh, to make problems within the community. Those are munafiqun. And those are Jewish Yehudiyun. When uh, they heard uh, anything about security of Medina or fear, uh, any uh, news, any information, they know these Jewish, Yehudiyun, and Munafiqun hypocrites used to spread the news uh, in the community without informing our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or the people of authority, Kibar Sahaba. So, this is why, uh, you know, in the Quran, Allah says, That's why Allah says, Very strong message for us. So, they used to spread the news because they have hypocrisy. They have enmity against a prophet, against a Muslim, Mu'minun. That's why they want to make problems within community. <laughs> Sorry. So, Let's not have the characteristics of Jews in us. Let's not have attributes of hypocrites unafikun in us. Because even if you know something bad, what is true, don't spread it among the within the community, among the people. You have no authority to spread someone's bet on social media, in community. We are doing that maybe if I uh, hear some uh, information about someone, we just spread it. We just inform our friends. Hey, friends, you know something about this? Hey, I heard that he did something wrong like that. And he uh, informs, he informs his friend. It's not a part of good ethics, it's a part of akhlaq al Islam. Only one who publicizes anything when he is tortured. Allah says in the Quran clearly, La yuhibbullahu al jahra bisu. See how a strong message is. Allah does not like the public mention of evil, any bad things, except by one who has been wronged, who has been tortured, who has been mazloom. And ever is Allah hearing what we are doing, we are. Uh, spreading, Allah is watching us. So if you have believed in that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala watches us. He sees us. You cannot do these things, these immoral activities. So, <coughs> sorry. Eh? So now let me share. If we do these things, uh, if we hear false news or any news without investigation, without uh, any justification, that is a kind of destructive tool for a societal peace. 
للسلامة الاجتماعية للأمن الاجتماعي You know you are destroying peace uh, in a man in a family in a community sometimes a fake news a hook news hoax or fabricated news a destructive tool for a family a country we are observing nowadays when you share something about someone and he knew he, he knew that you spread something uh, bad about him that is a destructive tool for him for his reputation and it will have a strong impact on his family members and that means you are hurting him you are hurting his family and if you do it for uh, or against any community that means you are uh, creating problems within the community this is total wrong this is totally unethical immoral so that's why i said that social media sometimes uh, could be a tool a destructive tool uh, for societal peace every one of us part of the society is part of the society you are part of a society he is part of a society so societal peace would would be could be uh, ensured uh, by you by me by us by our actions and it could be destroyed as well by you by myself by us so let's remember that our actions our activities our deals our uh, a behavior, our uh, use of social media, either uh, will be the tool for societal peace or will be destructive tool for the societal peace. Another thing, my brothers and sisters, we nowadays, uh, people are mocking. Uh, others. Example, we uh, name someone with a bad name and what we do, we share it uh, through social media within the groups maybe. Maybe I name my friend with a bad name and he doesn't like the name. That is totally wrong. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that and wala ta bazu bil ara wala tamizu anfusakum don't insult each other don't no uh, call each other by fancy nicknames if you insult someone that is strong and if you name someone with an offensive nicknames example you are you are calling someone Kel. Hey, you are a duck. Or you are spreading his name uh, through uh, social media among the friends. You know, hello, friends. Uh, where is uh, our uh, dog friend? Uh, this name, example uh, Hassan, dog friend, or Kel, or, uh, you know, Khinzir, or any. Uh, other name, Himar, all this. Allah says, don't do that. So we have to be very careful. This is totally wrong. And one more issue is mocking someone. Sometimes we say that, no, I am just having fun. I'm joking. You are hurting someone. You are uh, spreading a news and information of someone and you are mocking him. Example, we do it uh, uh, usually uh, within friends, among our friends or maybe families. We just uh, mock others uh, by uh, calling him with the name 
uh, by uh, mentioning his attitude, uh, by uh, stating his behavior. And this uh, uh, thing he doesn't like. That means we are mocking. So mockery is totally forbidden in Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Hijrah, 11 verse, so let's not mock others. Let's these wrongdoings, these wrong deeds, and mockery has become sort of life these days. You know, this is totally uh, wrong and forbidden. So we need to remember, we need to remind ourselves. My dear brothers and sisters, social media, if we write something uh, not true, we just sharing or uh, uh, just a informing others to attract them with the wrong information. You know, many, many institutions, universities, uh, uh, people are practicing this, especially in the promotional kits. When they promote their institution, uh, the, their uh, activities or uh, personal things, there. Uh, to apply some um, unethical tools, promotional tools and kits, and these are not true. So sharing, sharing or lying or telling a lie, I mean, uh, uh, information which is not true, it's also forbidden. And this is not the character of a mu'min. This is the, the attribute of hypocrite. There are uh, three signs of a hypocrite we know. When he speaks, he, when he makes a promise, he breaks it. When he is trusted, he betrays his trust. In uh, he and Muslim, and Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala and Rasulullah sallallahu so why do we, uh, uh, you know, act with uh, any information has no authenticity, has no uh, any base? So let's not base uh, promote the baseless um, and uh, ethical and authentic information with others. Using social media, using Twitter, using WhatsApp, using Facebook, whatever. And uh, my brothers and sisters, another information is very uh, important. You know, sometimes uh, some of us would like to spy no, if you, uh, if your friends, you know, uh, sitting behind, beside you, uh, and then you are trying to see uh, what are the messages home is receiving, uh, or what is doing in mobile, either this information is beneficial for you or not. So, what are you doing? You are trying to see his computer, his messages, his mobile his WhatsApp messages, his Instagram messages. Yo, don't do that. <laughs> Allah said, we are not allowed to do Because that is a not good uh, character attribute. Well, uh, just says so. So, is unethical, 
non-Islamic and spying is forbidden in Islam. Either you are trying to see messages of someone's in mobile, in WhatsApp, or if you are using someone's computer without its permission, her permission. So that is a kind of spying his or her information. So we are not allowed to do that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has surely and clearly forbid that we cannot uh, spy others. So my brothers <laughs> and sisters, I will just talk uh, another five minutes, then we'll end the session, inshallah. When someone spread this uh, immorality, unethical things. If you are acting as a man, as an woman who is spreading immoralities using social media or verbally or any of the ways, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that, you know, I do have painful punishment in this world and the hereafter. Spreading falsehood, fitna, fahisha, and immoralities, unethical information. And Allah said, I have painful punishment for them. In Surah Nur, verse number 19, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Inna ladina yuhibbuna an tashi'al fahisha. Fi alladhina amanu lahum a'adhabun alim fi dunya wal akhir. Wallahu ya'lamu wa antum la ta'alam. Indeed, those who like that immorality should be spread, publicized among those who have believed. Allah said, will have a painful punishment in this world and the hereafter. Of course, Allah knows and you do not know. That is the warning from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we cannot act in a way of a hypocrite or an unbelievers of a Jewish or someone who is bearing immoralities, unethical values, unethical attributes, and illegal uh, behaviors. So we cannot do that. So lastly, and finally, we need to know that, my dear brothers and sisters, this Islamic ethics, al-akhlaq al islamiya either to make you fact moving and to increase your iman and taqwa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran and Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam practiced if we look Practices of Prophet We can see that Prophet Sallallahu say, "Akmalul imani, iman. Akmalul mu'mini, iman. Ahsanu khulu." So the believers who show the most perfect faith, iman, the beautiful faith, those who have the best of behaviors best of akhlaq. When we do have this wonderful akhlaq al-Islamiyya, then we can believe that we are having perfect faith, perfect iman. And another hadith, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, three times, he said, by Allah, he is not a believer. 
by Allah, he is not a believer. Three times by Allah, he is not a believer. Then Qila, it was asked uh, by his companions, who is that person, messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Who is that person is not a believer? Prophet said, one whose neighbor does not feel safe from his Wallahi la yu'mi. Wallahi la yu'mi. Wallahi la yu'mi. Qila wa man ya Rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Qal, la ya'manu jaruhu bawaiqa. Very strong message. If we commit this kind of sins, if we hurt others, if we spread false news about others, if we create a scary community, a scary situation, is our neighbors will not feel safe from our evils, from your evils, from your wrongdoings. Prophet said that he is not a believer. And in another hadith, every one of us knows. I just would like to remind myself and you that Abu Musa al Ash'ari, he asked the messenger, who oh messenger, who is the excellent believer, who is the perfect believer, Mu'min? Light, Muslim man, Samal Muslim, Amilisani, Wayadi. From whose tongue and hands the other Muslims are secure. So when you are hurting someone by your voice, by your words, by your sayings, or by your hands, how Prophet used two tools, tongue and hand. So we can hurt people by using our words, by tongue by something bad about someone, by shouting in front of others, uh, a need to... and by hands, by our writings, by using social media by hands, mobile phone, uh, Twitter, by using uh, internet with a hand. That means we are hurting others, other Muslims, by our, by our hands. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that if you other Muslims are secure from your hands, from your tongue, that means you have a strong faith, Iman. You are an excellent Muslim. So my dear brothers and sisters, at the end, I would like to remind myself and you, let's practice Islamic ethics, al-akhlaq al -Islam, yeah? Let's believe in that. Let's uh, be someone with good morals, as Prophet Allah is our Model our idol, he said, I have been sent as a messenger only for the purpose of perfecting good morals. Al Akhlaq, Al Islami, Sharia is a part of Al Akhlaq. So if we practice good morals, then we can be a good moral. We can, as Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said that Akmal al-Mu'minina Ahsan al Then her Iman will be increased. Taqwa will be increased. There are levels of Taqwa. There are levels of, you know, either uh, would you like to increase your, your Iman or not? To <laughs> have more Taqwa or not? This, your belief, your practice, your 
uh, actions will preserve Iman. We can purify our in we can buy our body then the perfect mu'min who gain pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this is the thing we need to uh, aware of social media use we need to be very careful about social media either sharing something something on social watching something through social media using youtube or watching on video illegal videos unethical videos everything is related to your activities your faith your iman your taqwa allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, give us more tawfiq allah subhanahu wa bless bless us with his tawf tawfiq, his blessings, and shower us with tawfiq. Nasallahu subhanahu wa ta'ala and yuwafiqana ima yuhibku wa yar. And he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, for this good moment. Yeah. Be good moment, inshallah. Uh, whatever good things you may take you may consider if there is any mistake or if i mention it and you can avoid these are i would like to share i just wanted to share with you and to remind myself and to remind you and uh, we'll see you inshallah so uh, on behalf of Nadil Iqtisad al-Islami and Kuwait University, our management, Ustada uh, Dr. Ala Al-Ubaid, brother Ustada Yahya, sister Ustada Asma, and all the members. First, we very much for joining us, especially our guest, online guest who joined this session. I am very grateful, I am honored I'm so happy to have you here in this session. And please uh, keep me in your prayer. As I just joined uh, International Islamic University in Malaysia as assistant professor in this month, and I started teaching here, alhamdulillah. So please remember me in your dua. Tawni min dua'ikum as salih. Nasarullah subhanahu wa ta'ala tawfiq wa sadad. Uh, brother, you can nothing. Thank you, Dr. Mohi, for uh, this wonderful lecture, and hope uh, see you again in another lecture. Inshallah, I mean, inshallah, ya Rabbi. Yeah, they are looking for, for yani, Yes, I mashallah. will send it. Yeah. Inshallah. Uh,